In fact, uh, when I had one of our friends say yesterday, when I don't know the day yesterday or the day before, that when he sees things, he feels like crying. It is true. <laughs> because they are now wondering, it was actually true that housing was possible and we wasted time on reggae. In fact, the court uh, said we had left out some people who were not paying the levy. And I said, oh, this is good news. <laughs> Maybe we should go for those ones. So Murugara and team make sure that everybody pays. <laughs> And I'm happy that uh, tomorrow in Parliament uh, we should be able to uh, finalize uh, in the National Assembly, let us uh, progress it to the Senate, and let us get working. Let me tell you this. We will implement the housing program. I don't want to say by whatever means possible. I have just said we will implement <laughs> we will because it is what other progressive countries have done it has worked it is not an invention it is what it is you know and even those who are opposed to the housing program it is not because they don't know that it is the right thing their problem is that it is us who are implementing, not them. It is just as simple as that. That is their quarrel. You know? They feel like crying because they can actually see this housing was actually possible. So that's what it is. Many people thought it was not possible. They can now see that it is possible. I want to ask us here, especially our members of parliament, to pay very special attention to some of the things we are doing. Because we are setting up the exam of 2027. So, Mukona Likit, the exam. What you do with it? Is your problem because we are building markets in your constituencies um, we have close to 500 markets we have advertised maybe two three hundred they are in your constituencies go ahead I have absolutely no problem with our members of Parliament going to say I am the one who has decided that this market be built here. I have no problem. I have no problem. And the <laughs> Yeah? Because this is your exam. This is a commitment we made to Mama Mboga, didn't we? Yes. We went to every forum. Mamboga tu, wakatuambia tunapigwa na jua, tuko na shida, eh, tunapigwa na mvua, hatuna mahali cho, hatuna maji, hakuna stima, hakuna nini. So we now have an opportunity to do that. Don't let it happen without you. Wewe kazi yako ni inspect every week. Unatembea tembea kidogo, unapitia hapo, unasema sasa, uja unaongea hapo, unasema hii kazi kabisa. <laughs> eh? We have, we have the county aggregation and industrial parks. Members, we have the county aggregation and industrial park. It is a partnership between the counties and the national government. You have a role to play. You know, make sure you go and inspect Kaipe in your, in your, in your county. We have now five special economic zones, six actually, including one of the biggest here in Naivasha. In Naivasha, 
as we committed, we're going to have a huge industrial city here in Ibasha. We have just concluded the procurement and the purchase of 5,000 additional acres here. Two Alice? Yes. Yes. 11,000 acres, but 6,000 will go towards resettlement of people. So we have, uh, shortly, we will be now gazetting the necessary uh, areas. And already, we have very many companies. I was in Dubai for the, uh, up, uh, for the COP28, and we signed many agreements of people who want to come and set up here on account of our renewable energy, on account of what Kenya looks like going into the future. Take advantage and, and, and be part of it. And it speaks to the jobs element. We're not just doing this as structures. We are doing this because jobs is important. We have to be deliberate. I was in Moranga the other day. And I hope today, I told the governor of Moranga, between today and tomorrow, we already have finished the procurement of, uh, of the, the first phase, which is going to cost us about 500 million. It's going to begin. And we, we want to push this so that we have a good environment for us to create jobs. Further down, in our fifth pillar of the Kenya Kwanza Manifesto is the digital superhighway. It is one of the most important pillars of our manifesto. I have had a discussion with the committee, ICT committee in parliament. I have had a conversation with the chair of the CDF committee. We have now changed the law. All of you uh, know that. And I want to urge members here, your first priority is to make sure that you are ahead of the game in making sure that we have ICT hubs in every ward in your constituencies. You have heard me say it, and I mean it. And many of you who have done a small thing out of it, you have known that you have seen the impact, the impact it has. Jameni. Musifanye program he, ifaulu kuingine, and this is a program of your government. Because the people on the other side, sometimes they are ahead of us. They can see the opportunity clearer than we can. I want to urge every member of parliament here, listen to me, friends. You will create a thousand jobs minimum in your constituency with the ICT hub. We are, we've just concluded, we had a thorough meeting with Owalo and many of the other actors on how to deploy internet, on how we, we have already allocated money for training, on how we are going to uh, make sure that the place has power. It is up to you to make sure that you are ahead of the curve. So, members, I am talking to many people here. Mutapita Mutiani, if you do what I am telling you, yeah, you, you will. You, <laughs> muta, muta, we are setting up the exam for 2027. So, I also want to ask you, members. We have negotiated for opportunities for export of labor from Kenya. We advertised the other day for 2,500 
nurses. Bore and uh, Mwadime, how many, how, many, how many nurses have we, have we got so far? Imagine, we have only 500. And these are people who are going to earn 200,000 plus. You know, <laughs> look here, guys, you know, number one, it was, it was advertised in the press, number one. Number two, Mimi. I have been, I have talked about this thing in every meeting. In every meeting. Continuously. Sasa wewe, wakata unageti kwa hiyo mkutano hivi. Unasikia president huyu anasema iko, iko, iko nurses. We ujibulizi kwa kichwa hii nurses. We, ukitoka hapo kwa hiyo mkutano. Si unahenda kutafuta mali hiyo iko nurses. Awa nurses iko. Friends. Because I still see people here saying, we are not aware. You are not aware. Sasa mwanataka nifanya nini? Mwanataka nisimame wapi? Nisimame, niweke volume kiasi gani? As we are talking today, listen, members of uh, leaders, as we are talking today, Bore is here. Where is Mwadime? Or uh, that other gentleman? Yes, that Mwadime is there, the peers concerned. We still need 2,000 nurses. Nabado, just just wait. Just, what, what are you to eh? I'm just giving you. I'm I'm just giving you the exam. Go look for. We have an intelligent person will live here, and go and do what they must do. You have constituents. They will take a lot of offense. If they discover that there are opportunities, imetangas were everywhere, and nobody has come for them. That is not enough. We have half a million, maybe one million, of such opportunities. It has to be deliberate. Somebody has to do some homework. I am trying to set up the bureaucracy. We were uh, um, to set up both the bureaucracy in NITA and in uh, NEA to support you on making sure that you have as much information as possible. Because I have negotiated many opportunities for young people in Kenya. In fact, um, my Rosalind there uh, just came back from Germany. We are almost completing, concluding the agreement with the German government because they have asked us for 250,000 <laughs> job opportunities. And they want us to conclude the agreement before June. Is that right, Rosalind? The same thing is going on with different countries. And it is important for me to talk to you, good people, so that you concentrate your energy in the right place. Concentrate your energy as a, as a people's representative. I thought we have so many people looking for jobs in our offices. There are so many. So please, let us work together. Because there are jobs out there. There are young people all over the place. We need to connect them to the opportunities. And please take what I am telling you seriously. 
You know, I am, I am not talking politics. You know, kuna, tuna, kuna maneno tunaongeanga hewa. I am not talking hewa. 